Bro, honestly, the more I use Solana, the more I love it. Super fast transactions, almost zero fees. Now there's a blockchain ready for mass adoption. Fast? Sure. Cheap? Definitely. But let's not forget, Solana's network has gone down multiple times. What kind of blockchain dies like office Wi-Fi? Talk to Come on, every new day has its hiccups. Trial and error, bro. And Solana has improved a lot. Their uptime now is way better than in the early days. Better? Maybe. But even last month, there was still a minor outage. I don't trust a blockchain that can freeze mid-process. Imagine building a game and the network just stops. That's a disaster. But look at how many builders are moving to Solana. The ecosystem is booming. DeFi, NFTs, even payments. SPL tokens are getting easier to use. Did you see that vending machine the SF USDC on Solana? Yeah, I saw it. But Solana still feels too centralized. Not as many validators as Ethereum. When a core component fails, the whole network suffers. Talk about Alright, hold up. I've been listening to both of you. And you both have a point. Billy is impressed by Solana's performance and cheap fees, while Chico is concerned about stability and decentralization. Exactly! I think Solana is really built for retail level adoption. Perfect for developing countries too. And I think it's too early to say Solana is long-term safe. We need consistent performance, not just hype. Fair enough. On one hand, Ethereum is clearly more battle-tested. But Solana is showing that blockchain can be efficient without the crazy gas fees. What if, one day, Solana manages to be stable, fast, and cheap all at once? That could be the ideal solution for mainstream users. I'm into that! Solana to the moon! If it stops going offline, maybe, just maybe, I'll reinstall my Solana wallet. Or maybe, you already hold Sol and you're just pretending to be a skeptic. 